Ever wish you had a gentleman friend to buddy up with for trips to the gym, movies, or your random cousin's wedding? Well, look no further than Rent-A-Gent. It's a service that connects women with quality men at an hourly rate. And get your mind out of the gutter, everyone, because sex is not a part of this package. Joining us via Skype to discuss her experience with Rent-A-Gent is immersion journalist, writer, and one of my good friends, Melanie Burliet. Thank you so much for coming on, Melanie. Of course, thank you for having me. It's weird to be interviewing my friend, but <laughs> <laughs> but can we talk about your story? Be honest, did you call rent a gent, gent just for the story, or was there actually something about the service that personally intrigued you? Uh, it was definitely both. I think that I, I heard the service from a friend of a friend, and I thought that, you know, it made sense as, as, as a way to combat the blues. We pay for a lot of different services from psychotherapy to retail therapy to yoga classes to make us to make ourselves feel better. So as a mood boost, it made sense to me. And I was feeling kind of so I thought, why not push my personal boundaries and give it a try. Um, and I also thought that there might be something kind of validating as a woman um, in terms in terms of paying for something like this. Uh, was the rent a dent, sorry, rent a gent experience everything you expected? Wink, wink. <laughs> I would say that it was. You know, when there are these predetermined boundaries, um, the no sex policy actually enables you to flirt your face off in this stress-free way. And I will say that much to my surprise, the, the guy I met with was not only every bit as handsome as he looked in his online photographs, but he was um, an intellect and, uh, you know, an easy conversational. So we had a good, it was kind of weird territory between date and um, non-date. It, it's this interesting in-between that I hadn't yet experienced. Let me ask you, what have uh, the reactions been uh, to your story from friends, from people? I know you got a big following on the internet, um, on social media. I will say that as a general policy, I try to dodge online commentary because I think that the people who are inspired to comment anonymously in particular are generally cowards. Um, so I don't know what has been said about the story online. I will, however, say that my mom texted me an hour ago saying that she heard at a dinner party that I had hired an escort for $200 an hour. Um, <laughs> Max, if you hear something like that, maybe, maybe let me know so I can give you some context. And her reaction was, well, sweetie, you know, I know things can get twisted and I was never really concerned. And I have to say that that may be why, you know, I'm able to do, you know, these sorts of things because my parents are actually very conservative people, but, but they're non-judgmental. Well, Melanie, I want to thank you so much for coming on the show. You are always doing something that I am interested in. For more of Melanie's adventures, check out her website at melaniebarelyette.com.